Alan Mag here, and today I have a foxhole tutorial for you. Uh, this will just cover the basics that aren't provided to us in the game. When I first played this game, I was pretty lost on what to do and how to play it, and I couldn't find any tutorials to use online. So after playing for a few days and learning the ropes for myself, I thought I'd make a tutorial to help those who are just as lost as I was whenever I started. Hopefully after watching this, you'll get a basic idea of how the mechanics of the game work and how to play it and enjoy it. Alright, so real quick before I get into the video, I'm just going to go ahead and bring up the uh, picture that they give us that shows us just the basic information of the game. But two things I want to mention that is not shown is how to chat. And to chat by typing, you push enter and it brings up the chat box in the bottom right corner. And then you hold T for voice chatting in game. Push tab to enter the inventory. Once you are in the inventory, you will mouse over the preferred item and left click. This will equip the selected item to its intended slot in the equipment section. One thing to note is that you cannot drag items from the backpack to the equipment slots. To split a stack of items, you will hold down the control button and left click. This will split the items into two separate stacks. And to drop items, you will hold the alt button and left click. And this will drop the items to the ground and out of your backpack. So when you pull up the map in the game, you'll notice that there are all these different icons around each of these towns. The colorful icons represent the different factions in the game, and the little gray icons represent the different uh, places that you can visit in the game that serve a purpose. And I'll have a box here that shows the description of each of those icons, and now we'll move on to visit each of these locations to see what it is that they do. First up is the scrapyard, represented by the screw icon. Within the scrapyard will be random piles of scrap. You will need to equip the hammer and repeatedly hit the pile until it disappears. Scrap is the foundation of the game and is needed to make materials. Next is the components which is represented as a bolt on the map. You gather the components from destroyed tanks. To gather the components you must first have a sledgehammer which you can get from the workshop. After gathering some components you will see in your inventory that they are represented as bolts. These components are used to make refined materials at the manufacturing plant. The manufacturing plant is represented as a hammer on the map. This is where you will take the gathered scrap and components to turn them into materials. Scrap turns into basic materials which is used to make just about everything in the game. The components turn into refined materials which is used to create specialized objects such as the half track. Items will tell you what type of materials is needed before you can build them. The basic materials is represented as beams, while the refined materials is represented as a bundle of pipes in the inventory. The next location to go is the armory, which is represented as a rifle on the map. You will walk to the armory and push E to enter into its inventory. You will then need to deposit what materials that you have. On the right side, you will notice all the different weapon options that you have to choose from. Weapons are built in stacks, meaning that you must put the weapons together before you can use them. The stacking helps with transporting weapons because you can carry multiple weapons in a single stack. All you need to do is left click on what you want and it will build in a certain amount of time. Before you can drive a truck, the first thing you will need is oil, which is represented as a gas can on the map. To collect the oil, you simply equip your hammer and then left click repeatedly on one of the four oil barrels until you have as much as you need. With both materials and oil, you are now ready to build a vehicle. You will need to go to the motor pool, which is represented as a truck on the map. Here you will need to push the E button to enter the inventory and place material inside. You have three options of things to build. The first is the truck, which has low health but is useful for delivering supplies and troops to the front. The half track has good armor and is equipped with a heavy machine gun but does not have many slots for carrying supplies. The last is an artillery piece. It does not require oil but it takes two people to operate. To enter your vehicle once built, you will push the cube key. It is important to lock your vehicle with the L key or another player could steal it. The icon that looks like the folded blankets is the supply station. Here you create supplies which is used to respawn players at town halls or barracks. To do this, you must simply put the supplies into the building's inventory. Represented by the cross wrenches icon is the workshop. When you enter the building's inventory on the right, you will see the options of items you can build. The binoculars to see over long ranges and are needed to help range artillery pieces. Next is the satchel charge which you can throw and blow up. The wrench is used to repair. Proximity mines explode on contact when placed. The radio works with watchtowers to show you an approximate enemy location on the map. The gas mask protects from gas attacks. And last is the artillery shell which is needed for the artillery piece. The cross represents a hospital. Here you will be able to build medical supplies. Bandages can only be applied to yourself to stop bleeding, but it does not heal you. 
The med kit heals those who are injured, but you cannot apply it to yourself, but only others. The trauma kit is used to revive soldiers who are down. You only have a few seconds to revive someone as seen by the timer over the downed character. To use these items, you must equip them and then left click on the target person. To craft buildings, you must first equip your hammer and then push the B button. On the right, you will see all the buildings that can be created. Do note that foxholes and pillboxes will be operated by the AI when no player is occupying it. The anti-tank turret, on the other hand, is operated by the AI, but it cannot be controlled by a player. When you die, if you haven't set your spawn point at a town hall or barracks, or the building ran out of supplies, you will be prompted to respawn in the wild. This will spawn you at any random location throughout the map. To pull up the player list, push the F1 key. This will show you all the players on the server and what faction they are part of. Here you will be able to see what your current level and rank is. You go up in rank by getting commended by other players. To commend a player, you go to their name and click the up arrow. The down arrow will decommend them. You only have a certain number of commendations. When you reach a high enough rank, you'll be able to start your own coalition with other players. The boot next to the player's name will allow you to vote to kick some troublesome players. Every few weeks there is a week-long war. This war is fought on the server 24-7. The goal is for a faction to have control of the most towns by the end of the week. To capture a town, you must first destroy the enemy's town hall and then rebuild your own. Then you must protect it at all costs. And last, this game requires teamwork, strategy, and planning. This is not a game that you just run and shoot. You must work with your teammates to attack towns and to defend yours. You'll die quickly if you just play on your own and don't do your part. So if you're playing this game just to run and gun, I'm sorry to say you probably won't like this game. You must coordinate and cooperate. You must use strategy to get your squad out of tough situations, and you need to plan for the long term if you want any hope of winning the weekly war. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this tutorial helpful. Um, I'm sure I probably missed something somewhere, so just put it down in the comments for other people to see. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and be sure to check out my other Foxhole videos. Uh, be sure to give this a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.